I trust you, Stevie. You know you can trust me. Good. Because there's something I want you to know. Jimmy Bulger is, without a doubt, a very unique individual. And that needed to be portrayed, that needed to be exposed. It's an alliance. The more my sort of jaw dropped on the floor with the script, the more I thought, is this really what happened? And then excavating the kind of truth of the story was equally enticing. As an actor, I choose my point of view, and Scott, as a filmmaker, chooses his point of view. You gather as much information as you can, and you pick a line. Whether it's the full truth, it makes for a great story. Truth is often stranger than fiction, and there were many different vantage points from all the different players and the truth seemed to be elusive. I'm a fucking dead man! I had been aware of Whitey for some time, well before I came onto the project. When you grow up on the East Coast like I did in Virginia, you understand that he's such a notorious gangster. And I didn't really know much more until I started uh, researching the project and uh, delving into the screenplay and understanding the very full and, uh, and rich story that Black Mass presents. I've met Scott before, and I'd seen his first film, Crazy Heart. And I was blown away by the filmmaking, by the choices. So I really wanted to work with Scott. Make him an offer for the company. Try it. We met and talked about the film and the idea, and both felt real good about it, working with uh, one another. One of the things that Scott said to me that I loved is he had read the previous versions of the script and really liked it, but he felt like they were kind of gangsters that sometimes were humans. Right, that's enough. And what he really wanted to bring was to show them as people first, Hi. and then slightly pivot the point of view, and then show them as what they were doing. We good? Yeah, we're good. Put him You need a really skillful and extremely intelligent director to figure out how to make a movie work where there's no good guy. And in our movie, there's no real good guy. There's a, some people who had good intentions who end up being bad guys, and then there's a lot of bad guys. Watch your wheeler. So to pull off making a movie with all of these characters who have real arcs and start at one place and another, but without one of them as your hero to see through that guy's eyes is a hard thing to do. And Scott managed those waters great. I think as an audience member, sure you want.